Welcome back friends. Just Mike here. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make the bellow clip wires. So when you're going to store your clock, when you're going to ship your clock, or if you just made a new bellow from scratch with Tyvek paper or whatever, you want that bellow to sit down and form to where it's supposed to be. Or when you're laying it on the back during Yes, we hear you. When you're laying it on the back uh, in a box to store it, this is what you need on your bellows to keep them closed so they always stay formed like they're supposed to be on closed and not caught open. And then in time, when you go to use the clock again or what, whatever, then it gets stuck open and it doesn't cuckoo properly. So let's get to it on making these uh, bellow clips and these are clips that are kind of like what come on a brand new clock and normally normally they get thrown away because you never see them with a the clock and so this is just a cheap way of making them and they work quite well let's get to it so here we have a clock just for our experiment the bellows are closed they're opened a little bit anyway I take this is just some cheap wire they use for uh, tying rebar together, whatever. You can go to most hardware stores. This stuff is normally cheap. I haven't bought any for a while, but you can see there's a lot of wire on here. I have them all, a bunch of them clipped. They're approximately four inches, four and a half inches, five inches. It doesn't make a hoot bit of difference. You take your weight. Oh, well, before we take the weight, let's take our needle nose pliers, grab a hold of it, pull it towards the pliers, and twist it around so you can get a, a loop or whatever, and come straight across, do the same thing. So now you have two loops. Point those loops down. Take your weight. Got off a little bit. That doesn't make any difference. You can twist them straight, whatever. So straighten if you like to. Makes them pretty. So there you go. Now, if this isn't tight enough, it's easy to take and bend them, separate them a little bit. So what you do now is you can place it over the bellows. This is just hitting. I want them a little bit snugger. I just, this is real easy wire to bend. There you go. It's over the bellows. And what you can do is tie a wire on here and make them tighter if, if that's what's needed. Or tie a string to them so you can get them off easier so people will see them if you shipped it that way. Oops, I kind of missed that one. This is not rocket science. You're bending these around. The only reason why you're bending these around is so they don't poke you or poke the person, whatever. You try to send, center your wire on here. It's been a little more difficult because I'm trying to show you how to do it. I don't know if the light's on it good or not. So you want that straight? Straighten it. It's not too important. The main thing is this slides over the bellows real easily. Let me get one a bellow. 
in one of my drawers here. So here's here's the bellow. Normally it's facing this away, where you can just slide it over. It's on there. If it happens to be to the side, just be careful you don't get carried away, but slide it over there. Now your bellows doesn't want to open, and make sure if you ship this this way to let the people know to pull these back off again. And like I say, tie a string to this so it comes out. You can have a string on each of them, have them come out, and that way have them tie them together, and that way the person can see the string a lot easier and pull them off. How easy is that? How nice it is. You can tip your clock any which way you want. The bellows is going to stay closed. And that's what we're looking for is to keep them closed. No matter which way you tip this clock. And in shipping, the wires aren't going to be moving around because the bellows is locked shut right now. And of course it will not cuckoo until you pull these back off again. So it's nice to have these, if you work on a lot of clocks, it's nice to have these available to you uh, in a drawer or wherever where you can get to them and get them onto the bellows, let's say, as soon as possible. So that way it keeps them closed and keeps them formed the way they should be. And when you buy these used clocks, normally they've been left laying, and of course this one's on its front, but normally if you turn it over, that bellows is going to want to open up and then it'll get stiff right where it is. These will save you from the headache of trying to add extra weight and everything else in order to get that bellows to drop down. And eventually, in time, it will drop down and shut like it's supposed to. So that way, your cuckoo noise comes through just fine. So with that being said, Get out there and start clipping some wire and making your bellow clips. I think you'll be happy with them. And this way you don't have to worry about, gee, I wish someone would sell them online and, and you'd order them. Why pay the shipping and all that when you can make them yourself? You guys have a wonderful day. And until next time, God bless.